majority of customers are trained, but there are also members of the public. This is a public market. Provided they're prepared to, pay, to buy effectively wholesale quantities. Um, for instance, we had a lady not that long ago that came in and wanted three white roses, four red ones, a couple of pink ones. I mean, you can't do that. Every type of other business has decided that at Valentine's they can sell roses. They're, they're selling stuff which are not commercially available at the price. But it gets people in the store, and I can see why they're doing it. Um, well, because of the advertising, it's a guilt factor where everybody has to buy a Valentine's present. Either take a um, partner out, or buy them flowers, and if they don't, they get hero when they get home. It's facts of life. <laughs> How are you then? Do you, are you, do you celebrate it at all? After working 12 hours on there, 12 days on the spin. <laughs> yeah. so, when Valentine's, for us, it's a very, very long uh, week stroke fortnight. Very, very long, very tiring. And do you think you work in flowers? You know, that means you're romantic? How can daffodils be romantic? It's an article, it's a commodity. What time do you have to wake up this morning? Two o'clock, we won't cut them. And all he does is, when are we going home, Dad? <laughs> do, you, do you look forward to this kind of time? It's, it's the worst time of the year, really? Valentine's. Mother's Week's good. Yeah. Everyone's got a mother, haven't they? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but not everyone's got a girlfriend, have they? Do you take some home? Yeah, yeah. We've got some in the car, yeah. And how yeah. do you celebrate Valentine's Day? We get it for a meal. I won't go out of the mill tonight because I'll be tired because I've been here all night and we've got to come here tonight. We've got to be here at say one o'clock in the morning, yeah. Monday morning. So start because Valentine's Day is tomorrow, isn't it? So hopefully yeah. it'll be if it ain't busy today, it'll be busy tomorrow. Yeah, I will sell lots of roses tomorrow. I mean I sold I had two customers yesterday and they one bought 80 stems and one bought... They both bought 80 stems actually. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah. It's crazy. I've served over 100 people in the last hour and a half and yesterday was already the busiest Sunday that we've already had during the year and today is going to be probably the busiest day out of the whole year. Cars which have been, um, the world which have been knitted together, they seem to do quite well. There's like small and bigger versions of those, especially nuts about you and the you and I ones and the I love you is doing very, very well. Yeah, there's a mixture. I mean, this guy who was just in was just asking me about this card. Um, these ones which seem a little bit like they're a little bit forceful with the language and stuff, but maybe yeah, you might buy that and then something a bit sweeter as well. So everyone always tries to be a bit original, so you might see something like this and think it's a bit obvious or a bit naff, but then other people think, oh, that's quite sweet. You know, there's like a market for everyone. Yeah, just try and get as many different people as you can to try and buy different variety of cards, I guess. So what do you think Valentine's Day means to people? Um, it, it gives them a chance to express and, and let, this, let their partner or know how much they actually love them. Or even, even people that, you know, obviously people that, um, that are not your partner as well. It doesn't have, just have to be your partner, does it? It's not all about partners, is it? Because we had quite a few come back in here. I'd get, I'd girls come in with their phones showing me pictures of their flowers that they'd had. And can I remember who I sold them to? <laughs> 
but yeah, I, that's a good. That's a good. That's the nicest bit when they because they, they're not allowed to know. They've got a guess. And you... Hello, love. Can I get twenty pounds worth. Twenty pound bunch. Yes, please. Is it for someone special? The old man. What you say? You want sort of a masculine? Yeah. yeah that's sort of masculine, know. isn't it? It hasn't got too much pink in it. No, it's, it's got um, South African flowers in there. Don't touch them. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah, a lovely that's bunch. Good. It's got that's a pineapple. Is that really pineapple? That's a pineapple, look. Oh. Baby. Will it grow bigger? No. Oh. Sorry, £20. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much, darling. Hope he likes them. Thank you. Bye, babe. I'm sure you will. Oh, I'm sure you will. Bye. Last year, there was a card put through my door, and I still, to this day, don't know who sent it. I haven't got a clue who it was, which I think is quite fun, really. The only thing I've got against Valentine's Day is I never know how many roses or flowers I'm going to need. I think this year I bought at least 600, at least. Um, not just red, obviously. I don't just buy red, I buy all colours. OK. I think that'll get you out of trouble. And um, can I ask you when the last time you were in love was? This is, I'm married to this. This is my, this is what I'm married to. I'm married to my shop. And I wouldn't have it any, and my animals, and like, they are brilliant, I love my pets. They, they're so dependent on you, that um, I would never let them down. the menu we sell oyster fish we think to sell lots of uh, white wine champagne we prepare the room with uh, red roses uh, flowers chocolate nice I think we make uh, 20 couples or more 20 or 30 couples no more oh it's amazing what you good we are always standing, running, walking, seeing people, keeping contact with people, speak with people. Is uh, I like this job. So the couples in our restaurant enjoy their Valentine's Day, we are happy. We don't think about the, the bill, the money, the business. We, we want, we think about the service. We are making the people happy here. I think that everybody, all of us, are an army of lovers. It's uh, one thing important for everybody, for the life of everyone. As I cross the road, my wife-to-be come out of uh, the corner of this estate that uh, was across the park to me. And uh, as soon as I see her, she was the most beautifulest thing I'd ever seen, even at that age. My wife, I can't give her flowers, I have to give her diamonds. Because obviously being in the flower game, it's a bit, uh, 
out of order coming home with flowers when she sees them every day, so, as I do. I quite, I love it actually. I love it. It's nice to see everybody else getting looked after and pampered and whatever. I'm quite happy to uh, just sell the roses. Yeah, it's very romantic here as well. Yeah, you know, I sell roses all 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 week, not just Valentine's. Yeah, especially, I find what it is is that if they're meeting someone off the station, they like to stand there and holding a rose. So that's good. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I do, I'm not being silly, I do try and make money because it's the business I'm in. I am a wholesaler and obviously that's time to make money. But I do believe in Valentine's, genuinely believe in Valentine's. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing stronger than love. It's uh, the strongest thing on this planet. If you can experience that, it's uh, something to be old. <laughs>